This is Jordan Stout. We're back with In World Captured. This is the third video of our series on After Effects. We have gone through many things like importing footage, making a new comp, working with layers, resizing some keyframes, some adjustment layers, and some text. And we're going to go a little more advanced here with some keyframes, working with animating some objects in your footage. So now we're just going to go in the project panel, we're going to import some footage. And we're just going to import some of this. Now I spoke about keyframes and keyframes make you um, help you make things change over time. So anything that you see with a stopwatch on it. So we're just going to take this here and actually never mind. We're just going to I'm gonna open this comp. Um comp I had made in the last uh video. And I'm just gonna delete the sound. Hold on. We'll work with sound later, don't worry about that. And now I just wanna make it so that this text I wanna make it so this text comes in from the side. Now to do that, we're gonna have to start it off to the side. And I'm just gonna zoom out here um by doing command uh, minus. I'll just zoom out and I want the text to start from over here and then come in or like over here so we're gonna start it we're gonna go to the beginning of the layer we could actually just open the layer actually never mind hold on we're just gonna go to the beginning of the layer I'm just gonna start it there right at the beginning and we're gonna open up position by clicking P while the having the layer selected and we're gonna have the stopwatch selected there and then we're going to take it, just go back to the arrow thing by pressing V. We're going to take it, we're going to bring it all the way over here. And then we're going to go to where we want it to be in the middle. And we're just going to center this, actually. So center, transform, center in view. So now comes, and wait, this isn't center because... I haven't spoke about this yet, but this little thing right here, this little thing, hold on, let's just zoom in on that. This little thing right here is the anchor point of that layer. So you want to make, you want to change that anchor point to the middle and you can go to this little icon, the pan behind tool by clicking Y and then take the anchor point and just put it fairly in the middle. I mean, it's not going to be exact because um, we don't have to worry about that right now. We don't really have to worry about making things exact. So now we're just going to center down the view again and see if that works. Whoops, never mind. Didn't work. What did I do wrong? Okay, there we go. Um so now we see it comes in here. I can preview this, RAM preview. Just watch that. Now it looks nice, but it kind of looks a little fake because see how when it's moving, it's still sharp and I don't like that. So. A little advanced thing here. We're going to turn on motion blur for this layer. That's this little icon. And these are little special things that do great stuff in After Effects. And then we're going to turn on motion blur for this composition. So now when it's moving, you see how it's blurred over here. And it just makes things look more realistic when they're moving. So I always do that when I have any moving objects that I want to look real. So now we could start that again. I'll just play that. It looks a little more and more real, except I want to speed it up. So using keyframes, you can just take this keyframe, select it, and then just drag it closer. And now make the action go a little faster. Maybe that's a little too fast. But now it's going to look like it came in. And see how, since it's going faster, the motion blur is more intense. So now it looks like it like flew in. So that's working with keyframes and After Effects. And that's basically pretty basic 
but it's will help you do a lot of things. And now we just want it to fly out, so we're just gonna make another keyframe over here at the same spot as it was. And then we're gonna go to where we want it to be out. And we're just gonna zoom out here a little bit. And we're just gonna take this and drag it over here. So now we have this little Now I want to fit the window toward to all of this, so I'm gonna do option um, dash, so it'll it'll bring it up dash right next to right by the question mark option question mark dash. So now it looks like this. So it's a pretty cool effect actually. Now we could just. Spread this out a little bit. You could select keyframes by going like this. And you could select all of them if you wanted to move it all over. I just want to move these two so make it so it stays still for a little bit longer. I'm just gonna preview that again. Wait one second. And we're just gonna watch it. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's a quick thing on keyframes, and that will help you do a lot of things in After Effects. And the motion blur really adds to everything. So we worked with keyframes and and using things in the timeline. So you have all these options. You could just open transform your position. And to make things change over time, you can just click the time time the stopwatch icon. And then you just go to the point in time you want it to change to. And that's basically how it works. Just play around with it and everything, and you'll get the hang of it. Everything you do in After Effects will use keyframes. Trust me, I use them all the time. Um, thank you for watching. Jordan Stauber with InWorld Captured. Subscribe to this channel. Check out our other channel, World Captured. Um, we have videos coming out all the time, especially in the summer. We're going to be working really hard. And... Yeah, see ya. Thanks. Bye.